like we said, the DXY of the dollar also affects uh, the crypto markets. Yeah. So I've changed the ticker to Bitcoin here, and we can see uh, uh, we talked about this for the past, uh, you know, the last time around that it's very clear on the monthly. If I change to the monthly chart, that it's been in a rising wedge, which is typically uh, bearish. Here's the chart that we shared. Yeah, rising wedge with earlier. falling volume. So we got a divergence, a bearish divergence. As a well. bearish divergence. That's right. With where you can see volume going down, but price grinding up, and yeah. and it failed to. And we talked about this. See, like we, it failed to close above our indicator strength band. Mm -hmm. So it seems to have kind of topped off there. You, and and we had three days to close, but if we if we top off below the, the rising wedge, if I change the weekly, you can see it there more clearly. Yeah. Um, we kind of already broken down. Yeah. And right now price is, uh, I mean, the weekly candle just closed. It closed in a in a doji, which means it's undecided. Yeah, it's like a neutral, right, neutral signal there. Yeah, it's like a neutral signal. It you know buyers and sellers like could kind of go uh, either way from unclear. here. But breaking think, down, breaking down from the wedge and the uh, divergence that we're charting there are kind mm -hmm. of biasing, at least my opinion, a little bit bearish here. I think we do continue down, especially yeah, especially think, if the DXY starts to run. Yeah, especially if the DXY starts to run, then it's like uh, good, <laughs> goodbye crypto, you know? Yeah. And be because this is the weekly chart. So the week uh, for the weekly time frame, like you could, we could get a retest like this where we like retest like resistance and then we finally like. Yeah. Lose the band. So that's and actually this, this that's an interesting uh, thing to note here because since we've lost that wedge now, to try to get back mm -hmm. into the wedge, this the wedge line we have drawn there should now mm -hmm. act as our next resistance level. So if we do exactly. if we do get a climb back up in Bitcoin, it'll be important to watch that uh, that climb and see is it able to breach back into the old wedge or is it being rejected right. below? And if it's being rejected below, that is more bearish sentiment and should strengthen yeah. our resolve to to be short on these assets. Exactly. So in terms of short term, you could kind of like play a retest and it's the same thing with actually this goes also in line with the stock market yeah because i think you know we we, go, we could see a retest with the, with the dollar dropping and then we retest the, the wedge and we're looking at bitcoin so the whole crypto market moves with bitcoin yeah so that's why we primarily track yeah. a bitcoin but if you see in ethereum it's in a wedge it looks pretty much similarly breaking oh, it's a little yeah, more bearish. And That's a little bearish, more bearish than because that. because see you can you can see how the wick it retested the strength band yeah. and it got rejected and closed below. So even if so, Ethereum could also have retest like Bitcoin, mm -hmm. do another retest and then like continue falling. 